Alrighty, so there's the little possum that I caught. This little guy. I'm gonna go ahead and let let it go. Everybody can say hi. So I'll get this cage open and I'll film it being released. Alrighty, so uh, being a little bit cantankerous about wanting to go to the bottom so that I can open up the cage. But I uh, thought I'd film it for a second here. Just so you can kind of get a look at it. So it just doesn't want to go to the bottom of the cage. I think I'm going to have to shake him down a little bit, get him down to the bottom so I can open it up. You going to say hi to everybody? No? You're still ticked off because I caught you. Are you? You're fine. You're fine. Oh, opening up your mouth a little bit there. Okay. Well, you're, right. There we go. Okay, I'll prop the cage open with a little stick. And eventually, maybe if I back off, there you go. There you go. Nope, go ahead. I'll back off. There you go. Oops, there we go. You gonna go? Am I too close? Let me back up. There you go. All right, off. Off it goes. All righty, and away it went. So that was uh. It was good. It was a good experience. It was nice. Uh, no harm to the little critter. May have ticked it off a little bit, but no harm. Uh, I think I'm gonna, since I got the big trap set up and I've got the, I've got the 110 conover still set up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and set this one back. Alrighty. So since I decided I was going to uh, set up the other ones, I decided that I would reposition this. Uh, this raccoon trap here <clears throat> I think one of the reasons and I could be wrong but I think one of the reasons that it fought and tried to get away so much was that I gave it way too much space to run around so I wrapped the chain around that little tree and then tied it off so that it doesn't have hardly any movement as far as that goes this time so we'll see if maybe that had anything to do with uh, whether or not it got out. So let's head off and uh, let's seed that uh, little small live trap I've got. Alrighty, so there we are. So I got a little bit of dog food left. And of course it's probably just gonna get me another little wreck or a little possum, but that'll be fine. A little bit there. Now, a little bit there. So there we go. I just got a little bit of dog food st strewn around this little one. I just left it uh, right where I had it before. There's like several paths. There's a path right down there coming up. There's a little trail right there coming right up there. And then there's this big main path right here and there's a couple paths over there. So uh, this is a good spot. Alrighty, so I have the uh, trail cam set up there on the the cage. So there we are. I've got it set up, and I think I think that it will photograph the cage I hope so I hope I've got it good All right. so I've got this area seated I've got main trap out and I've got a trail cam that takes photography only but it does do night vision pictures so uh, we'll leave this one alone and we'll move on
Alrighty, so I'll try to talk while I do this. This is just a really, really small live trap, and I've been setting up some live traps the last couple days just to kind of get an idea of what's going on out here. And uh, it's looking kind of good, to be totally honest. So it'll set just like that. What I'll do is uh, wrap a little bit of wire around that. Make sure it's secure. So uh, while I do that, I'm going to chit chat here a little bit. Uh, I think that there's a huge difference between knowledge and experience. Now that's just my personal opinion and uh, I know there'll be other people who don't necessarily agree with me and there'll be some who do agree with me. Um, I really don't know what that'll entail but uh, all I'm saying is that there's a huge difference between knowledge and experience. Knowledge you can learn without doing. Experience only comes by doing. And uh, let me tell you what, uh, that kind of experience or that kind of skill, and there again, skill is completely different as well, uh, is so much preferred to me. There we go. Put one more on there. So anyway, you've got you've got knowledge. Fine. Uh, anybody can have knowledge. Now I'm not I'm not trying to take away. Hello, I'm not trying to take away from those who have the knowledge. I'm just trying to say that knowledge is something. that anybody can possess. It doesn't take skill or experience to have knowledge. But it takes experience to have skill and it takes skill to have experience. Now uh, for those of you out there who have knowledge but not the skills or the experience, you probably don't see that. You probably don't agree with what I just said and that's fine. Uh, I've asked a lot of people what they want to see on my channel. What could I do to make the channel more fun, more interesting? And I keep getting the same answers. You know, it's your channel, do what you want. Which is fine. It, you're right. It's my channel, I'll do what I want. But for people who try to tell me that you do your channel and you don't care if people watch or if you don't care that you get subscribers I'm gonna have to call a little bit of a I don't necessarily believe that uh, for the simple fact that uh, you don't have to do a YouTube channel to go do what you're doing you could do it completely without filming it uh, I put you to this question uh, aren't you only, only filming it for other people to watch? That didn't work. So, uh, to sit there and tell me that you don't really care whether people watch your channel and you're going to do what you want regardless of what people say, which is true, you probably will, and so do I to, to a great extent. But, I'll be honest, 
I want people to watch my channel. I want people to like my channel. I want people to subscribe to my channel. And to be totally honest, I'd like to be well respected and well known from this channel. Now whether that happens or not, I don't know and it's not going to break my heart if it doesn't. I'm just saying that I would like that. So, uh, getting back to what were we talking about? Experience, skill, and knowledge. Completely different things. Completely different things. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of knowledge. And that's great. It's fantastic, actually. You know, I don't have that a lot. I really don't. Uh, in, a, in a lot of respects, I'd like to have it. But, uh, there again, I would much prefer to have the experience and the skill before I even go towards knowledge because, like I said, completely, completely different, uh, different animals, completely different animals there you're talking about. Uh, for example, uh, setting this trap like this. Uh, did I did I get this from knowledge? No, this isn't really from knowledge. I've not seen anyone do this before. Now I'm not saying they haven't. I'm just saying I haven't seen anybody do it. I didn't learn this from anybody. This come strictly from experience. This is strictly an experience thing here. Uh, I know for a fact that this works. I didn't have to read it somewhere. I didn't have to sit on my couch and talk about how I know this and how I know that when all I do is sit on my couch. But I probably should not go there and I probably should wait for another video to discuss that. So anyway, there we go. Uh, this will sit here, and uh, if the squirrel comes along, we may get one. If it doesn't, we won't. We'll have to see.